Welcome to our exploration of the untold stories of the American Civil War, the war that tore the nation apart from 1861 to 1865. Our journey takes us back to a time of conflict and transformation in the United States. The North and the South, two halves of a whole, were at odds over issues of slavery and states' rights. Brother fought against brother, and the nation was embroiled in a bitter struggle that would shape its future forever. In the midst of this turmoil, societal norms dictated the roles of women, confining them to the spheres of home and hearth. But as the war raged on, these norms were challenged and women found themselves stepping into roles beyond the domestic realm. They became caretakers, providers, spies, and even soldiers. The war years saw women in the North and South alike navigating a world turned upside down. As men marched off to battle, women took charge, they filled roles left vacant by their fathers, brothers, and husbands, managing farms and businesses and keeping the home fires burning, but their contributions didn't stop at the home front. Thousands of women volunteered their services in hospitals tending to the wounded and ill. Others took on the dangerous work of espionage, passing critical information across enemy lines. A brave few even donned uniforms disguising themselves as men and took up arms in the fight for their cause. Yet these stories of courage and resilience often go untold, overshadowed by the tales of generals and soldiers. Today we aim to shine a light on these hidden narratives and acknowledge the vital roles that women played in the American Civil War. Their efforts, often undertaken in the face of immense adversity, would not only influence the outcome of the war, but also set the stage for significant societal changes. The war opened doors for women, allowing them to step into new roles and challenges, setting the path for future generations. With this stage set, let's delve into the roles and contributions women made throughout the war. As the war unleashed its fury, women found their calling on the battlefield not as soldiers but as the angels of mercy, the nurses. This role was not initially seen as a respectable one for women, Yet the desperate need for medical aid during the war changed this perception. Women bravely stepped into the role of nurses, tending to the wounded soldiers in hospitals on both sides of the conflict. They worked tirelessly, often in grim conditions and for long hours. Illness was rife, with diseases like typhoid and dysentery claiming many lives, including those of the nurses themselves. But these women persevered, their determination and compassion unwavering in the face of adversity. Among them were names etched forever in history. Clara Barton, a nurse who would later establish the American Red Cross. Dorothea Dix, a tireless advocate for the mentally ill, who led the government's nursing efforts during the war. And Mary Ann Bickerdyke, a nurse so dedicated that she was known as Mother Bickerdyke by the soldiers she cared for. These women and many others like them served with such distinction that they were awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for their service. In the midst of the chaos and carnage of the Civil War, these women provided comfort and care to the wounded and dying. Their selfless service, often in the face of great personal risk, was a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. As they worked to heal the physical wounds of war, they also helped to heal the soul of a nation torn apart by conflict. But their impact extended beyond the war itself. The role of women as nurses during the Civil War marked a significant turning point. It challenged societal norms, paving the way for a newfound respect and recognition for nursing as a profession. Braving harsh conditions and societal norms, these women ushered in a new era for the nursing profession. Their courage, resilience, and dedication have left an indelible mark on history, redefining the role of women in times of war and peace. Beyond the nursing tents and the battlefields, Women found another way to contribute to the war effort espionage. In the dark corners of parlors and the shadowy recesses of social gatherings, women were gathering information that would tip the scales of the American Civil War. These women spies were not the cloaked figures slinking through the night, but rather, they were a part of the society. They were wives, mothers, and daughters who used their social positions to gain access to crucial information. They were the silent whisperers of secrets, the unseen movers of the war. One such woman was Belle Boyd, a Southern Belle turned Confederate spy. Boyd used her charm to extract information from unsuspecting Union soldiers. Her audacious actions and her ability to evade capture made her one of the most notorious spies of the Civil War. 
On the other side of the Mason-Dixon line was Rose O'Neill Greenhow. A prominent socialite in Washington, D.C., Greenhow leveraged her connections to gather intelligence for the Confederacy. However, her activities did not go unnoticed. She was arrested and imprisoned by the Union government, but not before she had sent vital information that helped the Confederates win the first Battle of Bull Run. In the heart of the Confederacy, in Richmond, Virginia, Elizabeth Van Loo was playing a dangerous game. A staunch Unionist, Van Loo used her position as a socialite to gather information about the Confederate government and military. She even operated an entire espionage ring right under the noses of the Confederate leaders. These daring women risked it all, playing a high-stakes game of deception and intelligence. They were not just observers of the war, they were significant players in their own right. They navigated a world of danger and intrigue, proving that the war was not just a man's world. These women showed that bravery and patriotism knew no gender. They were the unsung heroines of the American Civil War. In a time when women were confined to their homes, some brave souls broke all barriers, disguising themselves as men to serve in the military. The American Civil War was a period of great strife, and amidst this turmoil, some women chose a path less tread. They enlisted as soldiers, not in skirts, but in trousers, under aliases, and with courage that made them indistinguishable from their male counterparts. Take Sarah Edmonds, for instance. She was a woman of adventure and patriotism. Disguising herself as a man, she enlisted in the Union Army under the name Franklin Thompson. For two years, she served with such distinction that not once was her true identity suspected. Even after being wounded in battle, her resolve never wavered. Then there was Frances Clayton, who craved the thrill of the battlefield. Disguised as Jack Williams, she served in the Confederate Army for four years. Captured by the Union Army, her true identity remained a secret, her courage undiminished. And who can forget Albert Cashier? Born Jenny Hodgers, she enlisted in the Union Army under the name Albert and served for four years. Her secret was so well kept that it wasn't until decades later, long after the war had ended, that her true identity was discovered. Each of these women had their motivations. For some, it was patriotism, for others, adventure. Some sought an escape from their unhappy home lives. Regardless of their reasons, these women broke through societal norms and expectations, demonstrating that they could match men in courage, resilience, and patriotism. Their actions were more than just individual acts of bravery. They were political statements, challenging the status quo and pushing the boundaries of what was considered possible for women. They paved the way for future generations of women in the military, proving that bravery and patriotism know no gender. In their own way, they were pioneers, their actions a testament to their indomitable spirit. These women boldly defied societal norms, demonstrating courage and patriotism in the face of adversity. While some women found their place on the battlefields, others contributed to the war effort from the home front. The Civil War was a time of profound change, not just in terms of the nation itself, but also in terms of the roles women played in society. As men left to fight, women stepped up to fill the void, taking on responsibilities that were traditionally held by men. They ran farms, worked in factories, and raised funds for the war effort, showing their resilience, resourcefulness, and strength. Let's consider the factories first. As men marched off to war, women took over the jobs they left behind. They worked in armament factories, manufacturing weapons and ammunition. It was grueling work, often dangerous, but it was essential to keep the war machine running. But the war effort wasn't just about producing weapons, it was also about maintaining the nation's food supply. With the majority of the male workforce gone, it was women who kept the farms running. They plowed fields, harvested crops, and tended to livestock. Their tireless work ensured that both the soldiers on the front lines and the civilians at home had enough food to eat. And then there was the fundraising. Women organized bazaars, fairs, and concerts, raising large sums of money to support the troops. They also collected and sent supplies, such as food, clothing, and medical kits to the soldiers. These activities weren't just about supporting the war effort. They were also about challenging societal norms and redefining the role of women in society. Women proved that they were capable of doing jobs traditionally held by men and doing them well. This laid the groundwork for the women's rights movement and set the stage for future generations. 
The war fundamentally changed the societal role of women, opening doors to new opportunities and paving the way for future generations. The American Civil War, a defining moment in history, was not just a man's war. Women, stepping beyond societal norms, served as soldiers, nurses, spies, and vital cogs on the home front. Their contributions, often overlooked, were pivotal to the war effort and led to lasting societal changes. The war carved new paths for women, opening doors to opportunities previously unimagined and forever reshaping the landscape of women's roles in American society. Their stories, though often overlooked, are a testament to their resilience, bravery, and indomitable spirit during one of the nation's most challenging times.